Um, good afternoon, um, members of the fourth estate. As you can see here, we are the members of uh, National Administration and Security Committee. And indeed, it's a dark day for us. And indeed, it's a sad day for us as a member of the committee. Um, we have a statement here on the passing on Honorable Paul Koinange, Member of Parliament, Kiamba Constituency, and the Chairperson, Departmental Committee on Administration and National Security. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the Fort Estate, assembled here this afternoon, are members of the National Assembly Departmental Committee on Administration and National Security. Earlier on today, we learned with a great shock the untimely demise of our colleague who was also the chairperson of the committee, Honorable Paul Koinange. The late Honorable Paul Koinange was a dedicated, dependable chairperson whose knowledge, commitment to duty ran deep. The late Honorable Koinange was a respected peacemaker who was involved in several peacemaking initiatives not just in Kenya but beyond our borders. Before this untimely demise, Honorable Chair was uh, working to consolidate peace and security amongst community involved in inter-ethnic conflict across the country. He served as members of parliament, as a member of parliament of the people of Kiamba since 2013 to date. During his tenure, in Parliament, Honorable Koinange served in several committees, departmental committees, departmental committee of health, departmental committee of delegated legislation, and the departmental committee on administration and national security, in which he was the chairperson until his untimely death. Our heartfelt condolences to his family, friends, and the people of Kiamba, whom he served honorably as a member of parliament. Indeed, as I said, Honorable Koinanga was not just a chairperson, he was a father figure to us. Many of us here, he was a mentor. To me, I served as a deputy chairperson. I had a good working relationship with Honorable Koinange. I've learned a lot. He's a humble, humble human being. God has removed a flower from our garden. It's really sad for many of us. I want to wish the people of Kiamba that they have our support as the committee that is served as a chairperson and the family. I will now wish to give this opportunity to Honorable Kaluma. Then I'll also give a few members who has also served and worked closely with, this, uh, with our chair. Thank you, Vice Chair. We have woken up to the news of the passing on of Honorable Koinange, the MP for Kiamba, and um, who up to the morning of his death today was the chair of the Departmental Committee on Administration and National Security. It is a death which has uh, struck us harder than no death as Parliament. We served with him very well. By the time that uh, it's okay. Well, sorry, ladies. Let me give uh, Honorable Kabinga. Please bear with us. It's a sad day. Uh, thank you very much. My name is uh, Kabinga Washira Wadayo. I'm a member of Parliament for Moya and a member of uh, the Committee on Administration and National Security uh, where the rate Honorable uh, Koinange was the chairman. Uh, today we are mourning a member of parliament, a great leader of this country. And when I talk about a great leader, I'm talking about a person who many can attest his deeds while uh, being the chair of, uh, of this committee. 
he was committed to bring change in administration and national security in this country. He has led us into visiting more than 30 counties in this country to look at the status of administration and national security. He has passed on before we have finalized uh, the report that we are compiling, which will have weighty issues that will require fundamental change uh, in the uh, administration and national security. In this parliament here, all the members of parliament, and I can say that because I know it as a fact, would claim to be the best friend of the rate Honorable Koinange. Na hii nasema, siyo kujisemesha. All of us here, especially this committee, would tell you that we, are, we were all great friends. He never ever segregated anyone when it comes when it came to service. Sisi tuasema kuna mti in our language we say there is a mugumo that has fallen today and we are all hurt. Mugumo ambao umeenda na vile vile tunasema there is a whole library library that understands this country that has fallen today. Na tunasema mungu wa muweke pahari pema peponi, tutaendesha hiyo kazi yake. There is a bill he had already sponsored in this parliament on um, as a matter of security. As a committee, we will make sure that we continue and further his agenda to see a better Kenya, a Kenya where everybody is respected, a Kenya where we consider ourselves as one, as an Thank you. Honorable Rosa, please. Today as a committee, we mourn a fallen hero, not a hero because he was our chairman, but because he was a dedicated and true servant of the people, whose main focus and dedication was to ensure that our police force and the environment in which they live in enabled them to perform their duties to the highest potential. Honorable Konange spent many, many days visiting all the police stations in our counties just to see what the problem or the issues were that were making our police force probably not perform to the best of their ability. The last, last trip that Honorable Koinange made was to Garissa, where he visited the police stations. But alas, before he could give his report, he was taken ill, having contacted the coronavirus. The committee today passes their condolence to the family of Honorable Koinange, and we know and we believe that whatever he started, the force be treated better and be looked after better to enable them to serve every Kenyan the way they are supposed to serve. This committee will continue with that endeavor and will ensure that in the honor of Honorable Paul Koinange, our police force will realize the benefits that Paul Koinange always fought to ensure that they realized. We apologize to Kenyans and we'd like to let Kenyans know that COVID is real. It takes the best, it takes the youngest, it takes the oldest, it takes the richest, it takes the poorest. Let us observe all the protocols of COVID. Thank you. And Honorable Kawunya is a, a close friend and a family, uh, a friend to the late Honorable uh, Koinange. And I will want to give him the opportunity to say something as well. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Vice Chair and uh, members of the press. Uh, we are here today, uh, sadly, for very sad for the loss of our chairman, Administration and National Security Committee in Parliament. Uh, Honorable Kanange was a very close uh, colleague, friend, and uh, member of uh, Parliament. Uh, we have worked closely with him, and uh, we have learned a lot from him about the kind of patriotism, exceptional patriotism, that he exemplified uh, in his character and the way he was doing things. 
Honorable Koinange worked with everybody and he was friendly to every member of parliament. It did not matter which political party one belonged. And this is the kind of leadership he exemplified where we have learned quite a lot. Honorable Koinange, as my colleagues have indicated, was determined to have a public service, a police service, and a prison service that is uh, reformed, that gives services to the ordinary wananchi as is expected. So he went out all his way, and we have toured with him across the country in order to discover where we can fix the issue of service delivery. Uh, on behalf of uh, myself, my family, I wish to uh, pass my message of condolences to the family of Honorable Paul Koenange, who has left us sadly, and uh, pray that God rest his soul in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Condolences to the people of Kiamba. Honorable Kainange was a father figure to all of us. I remember when we went to Israel and United States of America, he really, he really took care of us. We were going to pay mark on Kenya Coast Services, which has been established in Kenya. That is his brain child. The issue of psychosocial issues facing the police in Kenya, that is his brain child and we have engaged psychologists to take care of psychosocial issues of the policemen and women in this nation. We are here to say, Honorable Koinanga, we loved you. We are here to say, the people of Kiamba, we loved our chair. We are here to say, rest in peace. May the peace of the Lord be upon the wife, the wife of Koinanga, the children and the entire people of Kiamba. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I will do this because uh, I'm doing it to, to Koinange. We have traveled with uh, Honorable Koinange across Kenya, uh, meeting uh, the police officers, meeting um, the administration officers ac across the country. Uh, as been said, uh, Koinange is one of those MPs who believed in talking very little but delivering so much. I wanted to promise the police officers we met across the country and um, the administration officers we met that uh, those things they requested we should attend to as a society so that the security of Kenyans can be better uh, secured we are going to follow them up as part of his legacy. Uh, Koinange has died at a time he was very passionate about ending drug trafficking in the country. The bill was being transacted before the House and I know in no minute when we come I'll request the Speaker that we prioritize it through our Vice Chair because drugs is killing this country. Among his visions was that by the end of this term we were to end this thing called female genital mutilation and I'm happy with the policy the government issued we have something that uh, we can enforce. Honorable Koinange also had his vision the idea that cut or wrestling must come to an end within this term and we were thinking of legislative and other interventions we could put into place to do it. But overall, Honorable Koinange believed in one united, peaceful, and secure country. He is um, a leader which, uh, whose death, I think, has uh, robbed the entire security sector, the administration sector in the country. Uh, those things he stood for. In the last meeting uh, we had with the Border Patrol Unit, we went to Garissa. We came back. He was uh, said to be unwell but he was still very keen that we pursue them. So as members of the Committee on Administration National Security in the National Assembly and Parliament, the best that uh, we promise 
is that the vision he had for the security system in the country is a vision we must, uh, you know, carry forth. Uh, he believed so much in unity of the country. I remember when we came from Garissa, he called uh, me for a rally in, uh, in Ruaka to champion the BBI cause. I also wanted to request even our members in that joint committee of the National Assembly and the Senate to expedite that process so that that BBI thing Honorable Koinange believed would unite Kenyans could be realized uh, in keeping with this uh, you know, prayer for the country. My personal condolences because among the counties he visited was Oma Bay. And the condolences of my family. So, with that, with them at home. So, we mourn with Kenyans, we mourn with the family, and uh, we pray. My utmost condolences to the president of the country for the trust I knew he had in Koinange, and of course, the pain I know he has felt in the loss of our brother. Many are the occasions when we had difficult issues, he would even call the president directly and we would solve them. So it's a big loss to the country, but uh, in his honor we'll be strong to soldier around and try filling into the gap. I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, members of the fourth state. I'll wind up with maybe two members. Just bear with us. Honorable Loima first, then Okay. Uh, uh, first, honourable, thank you, uh, honourable, thank you, honourable vice chair. Uh, I think on behalf of uh, the pastoralist community, uh, there is a lot that we can celebrate as, uh, as Kenyans and as members of uh, National Security Committee. Uh, during his time as our chair, I think most parts of the northern Kenya realized a bit of normality. Uh, I am a member of parliament for Loima constituents. My constituent was the first constituent to realize uh, peace in the northern part of Kenya during his reign. He was a member uh, that every time we approached him as members of this committee, he could listen to us and he could act if we wanted him to go to a particular constituency in Kenya, uh, Honorable Koenange will move uh, swiftly to attend to that particular matter. So we have lost uh, a chairperson, a honorable member who, is, who was passionate to end insecurity issues uh, among the pastoral community, among the communities was, that were still wrestling uh, with the acts of uh, stealing uh, animals from others. So uh, the loss of our honorable member is a big loss to this country. And I believe it's a bigger loss to the people of Kiamba. So uh, I just want to say myself and the people of Loima and my family will continue uh, condoling with the family of the let. I feel shocked because I've lost a friend who was so close to me. As a pastoralist, and pastoralists are always ignored, he was so passionate to us and he wanted to work to us. That's why we have managed to visit so many uh, counties in this country where there were elements of insecurity, including like Kipia, including West Pokot, and many others. He has gone all those areas because he wanted to end issues of cattle wrestling in Kenya. Thank you. Vice Chair, permit me to convey my heartfelt sorrow that the cruel land of death has robbed the soul and the life of our chairman, Paul Koinange. It is indeed a very sad day. Paul Koinange believed in peace. He believed he was working with the highest degree of consistency. He was working with the highest degree of compassion. He was working with the highest degree of commitment. And he was working with the highest degree of connection and competence. 
na administration and national security is the nerve system of this republic. He believed to the core the leadership of His Excellency the President Uru Kenyatta who happens to be his relative. Therefore, permit me, Chair, Vice Chair, to convey our heartfelt sorrow to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya that the life that we lost, we've lost a very reliable, dependable person. He was a man of very few words. And even now, permit me, Chair, to stop because I can't hold it. I'm also a human being, I have feelings. When my people were killed, the former son of Commandant of Presidential Escort of President Daniel Arab Moy, Kimurgor, was killed. I called him and instructed homicides through Kinoti, and they all came. He was walking, permit me, he was walking with perfect relation with Dr. Fred Matiangi and Kipichu. And I, w I wish to thank his service that even my own locations were operationalized, operationalization because of his efforts. So thank you, Vice Chair. But let the whole country mourn. I want him to be given state burial because security is the nerve system of this republic. So I'm appealing to His Excellency the President to give him state burial. Thank you. Honorable members. Okay. Um, you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm late, but I can just. Uh, yeah. Uh, as a member of uh, the Committee on Administration and National Security, I want on my own behalf, on behalf of my family, and on behalf of the people of Kitui Central, to join my colleagues in this committee and Kenyans in general in mourning the death of our chairman. Honorable Paul Koinange was a very special person. He was very special because he was a very committed team player. He's a gentleman who was very God-fearing and always he would remind us as committee members that we need to put God first on all matters of the committee and all matters were deliberating in our meetings. So fellow Kenyans, we've lost a great person, a very honest person, a very diligent person, and a person who loved his family. So as we all mourn, let's remember that Corona is real and let's keep safe. As a committee, we are going to do our best to give our chairman a befitting send off. Thank you very much. Just one question. Yes.